think firstly we should remember that uh, South Africa is only a small part of the British American tobacco business, uh, which is of course spread across the world. Most of the world has actually continued to allow uh, the sale of cigarettes during their lockdown periods. So for British American Tobacco Group as a whole, sales volumes have not really been materially impacted thus far uh, by COVID-19 containment measures. This is quite similar to food-based staples companies, uh, but of course quite different to alcohol businesses like, for example, brewers uh, who've been hit by alcohol bans in many countries, as well as the uh, closure of uh, most restaurants and bars. And that, of course, uh, is likely to continue for quite some time. Uh, British American Tobacco, as it has over many, many years, uh, continues to show the resilience of its business model and, of course, the value of having customers that are addicted to its products. Um, unlike many other businesses in uh, both developed and emerging markets that retracted profit guidance, British American Tobacco has reiterated its own profit guidance uh, where it expects growth in profits in 2020 in constant currency terms. Management's confidence in this, as well as the company's ability to generate cash, uh, is shown in the unchanged guidance that they plan to pay out around about two-thirds of their profits uh, from 2020 as a dividend, uh, which is exactly the same as we expected six or nine months ago. Um, this comes at a, at a time when a large number of other companies are either cutting or completely suspending their dividends. It's also worth remembering uh, that the value of any business doesn't simply sit in the profits that it generates in the next quarter or maybe the, even the next year, but rather uh, in the free cash flow that the company is going to generate over the next couple of decades and beyond. Uh, so with, with that in mind, the current crisis doesn't actually have a dramatic impact on the value of a business that we're quite confident will return to, no to levels that are pretty close to normal in the future. Uh, we're fully confident, uh, happy that uh, nobody can consistently and accurately foresee the future, uh, but we are comfortable that British American Tobacco's business is more predictable than most. Uh, this stability is, of course, further enhanced by the fact that the group has global reach, global diversification, and most importantly, a wide variety of currencies in which it earns its uh, profits. After that, the final key part of any investment decision is of course to decide whether the company's prospects as you see them are fairly reflected in the current market price of that company. It's clear from British American Tobacco's outperformance uh, relative to the market so far this year and through last year uh, that the market now does acknowledge the quality of this business. Uh, right now, while we like the business itself, we believe the current share price is reasonably close to fair value. This means that uh, in our client portfolios, where we have high weightings in BAT, we've taken some money off the table, uh, we've taken some profits uh, to rebalance those portfolios, and of course with the aim of now redeploying that money towards other more attractive opportunities.